That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Clippers. Number four, Carlton Speedy. Middleton outside. Davis a screen. Who poked away? Just five on the clock. It's stolen by Leonard. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Oh, a fantastic score. Kawhi can put a barrage of points up quick. Outside Bain. Pass to Davis. The shot to stop the run. That shot off. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Leonard's shot's good. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Leonard's gone two for two so far from three. Kicks it out to Middleton. 4-3. Hits the trifecta. Middleton's got five points now in the quarter. They've struggled, but hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. Here's Wall. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Nance, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Martin comes in for Chris Middleton. Wall covering. Pass to Bain. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The free throw drops for Bain. At the line for the Clippers, Desmond Bain. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. Here's Champagny. Counted from distance. Champagny's got 15. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. To the paint. Kicks it out to Bain. Shot clock at six. Got a hand on it. Thompson passes to Leonard. Good. And that basket makes him eight for 14 for the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Martin. Payne with a screen on wall. Nance outside. Let's it go from deep. Can't get it to drop. Now wall. Thompson left side. From behind the arc. Connects from downtown. Thompson's got six in the quarter. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I think... Confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. Delivering the blowout. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive.
Wall against Rozier. Here's Hunter. And the basket's good with the assist from Wall. And they're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. And for the Clippers, we've got Anthony Davis. Larry Nance is out there with Caleb Martin. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's done in at the two-guard position. Now here's Wall. Pass to Champigny. Back to Wall. Down to five on the shot clock. To the inside. And it's blocked by Davis. It's Martin on the wing. Rogier against Wall. Poke loose. There's the triple. They grab their own miss. It's good on the putback. Putting in the effort to get a second chance look. Nice. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute played. Rozier against Wall. Now here's Rozier. Defense right on him. Down low. Clock at six. Shot is good by Nance. How about the footwork that time from Rozier? Did a nice job freeing himself from the defense and making the pass. Pass to Champigny. To the middle. Shot is up. Puts it up. Rebound by the Clippers. And here's Rozier. The baseline J. Rebounded by Champigny. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Fires it from 18. And Rozier pulls it down. And it's Rozier with the ball for the L.A. Clippers. Three-pointer off the mark. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. To the right side. Here's Champigny. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Dunn. Deflected. And he's able to get it back. Oh! And he gets it back. Takes a step back. Wall against Rozier. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't take the lid off. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. for the Clippers. Smith, he's checked in for Nance. Chris Middleton comes in for Martin. And it's Bain in for Dunn. Hounded by Rozier. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Just continuing to pile it on. Refusing to let up. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They gotta tighten it up. Now here's Middleton. Pass to Bain. Smith into the lane, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Elite athleticism on display there. Smith showing you off the bounce he can get it done. Knocks down the triple. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Second personal foul, first team foul. No good on that one. I think he's the prototypical four in the modern game. Jamari Smith has an excellent three-point stroke, and he can defend multiple positions. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Champigny. The three is up. Rebound by the Clippers. Smith's got four rebounds now. Here's Davis. 
two minutes remaining. Game. Middleton two looking minutes. around. Davis with a screen on Thompson. Back to Davis. Can't cash it in from close range. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And the basket by Leonard. Oh, this is why you get Leonard the ball inside and just let him go to work. Pass to Smith. The three. That one is off. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Leonard outside. Fires the three. Drains the triple. Leonard's got five points in the quarter. A game two of the NBA Finals has been decided. Now the teams will be switching venues. But boy, what an important win for Pittsburgh. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. They couldn't have asked for a better start to the NBA Finals. Once they close this win out, they'll be sitting on a tidy 2-0 series lead. And obviously, that's the perfect position to be in. They don't need to do anything differently in the next couple of games. If they just continue to play their brand of basketball and don't let anything distract them, they'll be lifting that trophy in a few days. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Kawhi Leonard. The scoring effort from him, unreal. Carrying this team, I mean, he was amazing tonight. Both good from the line that time. There's 47 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Pass to Bain. Now here's Davis. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. When he's at his best, Davis is in attack mode. Getting to that rim and playing with power down low. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Pulls it from the top of the key. Nice jump shot. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Pass to Middleton. Outside Bain. And so they get the victory here at home. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes Game 2 of the NBA Finals. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and